another one for the road. Welcome to my talk today, you know what I mean? Just kind of my thoughts on like different realities like the made of like the metaverse and all that stuff and things I don't I figure like futuristic type shit you know what I mean I was like you know so fucking Mark Zuckerberg came out with the metaverse like a virtual reality where people could interact with the gaming like with the world and there's virtual reality you can buy properties and real estate you can work you can work jobs in in this metaverse make money or ethereum whatever and like you can co-mingle with people you can fucking your house could be like as an nft you can sell stuff it's a currency system on there and all that stuff kind of reminds me of like Wally, you know what I mean? Kind of like everyone's on their screens just fucking like you know what I mean? Like they're all fucking huge and it's like flying aircrafts and all that shit. Like not that like advanced but like they choose, they, they Wally if you've seen the movie Wally, it's me that's what I fucking picture in the future where people are just strapped to their seats like fucking being in the metaverse, you know what I mean, it's, and and reality is just gonna be like something of the past, you know what I mean. I was tripping on that, like, you know what I mean. And I don't, there's nothing wrong with against the metaverse, you know what I mean. I just figure there's gonna be a point where maybe it's like people are gonna get so addicted to the metaverse. Fucking Mark Zuckerberg, you know, he, he, I doubt he's gonna be in the metaverse. He probably is just gonna be in the metaverse just to get profits, you know what I mean? Like, he's gonna be out here fucking making billions, being on a yacht somewhere, and fucking, and fucking Cabo, you know what I'm saying? Like, just on a fucking private island, just chilling, you know? Well, fucking people are fucking connected to their seats, fucking interacting with the world that's not really that's like in the computer game you know and I was like oh damn like that's crazy you know but like hold on a second I was like something Well, nothing against virtual reality, you know. It's just kind of like when you're in this world where, you know, you know, I used to play video games a lot too, like a motherfucker, you know. I never gauged to realize, like, with me working, you know, me, me interacting with the world, with reality and all that, you know, I kind of like appreciate being outside more. You know what I mean? Like, when I was growing up, I was always pretty much inside, you know? But, I figure there's probably benefits to it, for, you know, for people that don't like being outside or interacting with people, you know? People can express themselves in the metaverse, you know what I mean? Like, People in reality, they probably just don't like reality. You know, reality is probably just too depressing. And I can't blame you. And I feel like maybe the metaverse just brings a new light. You know what I'm saying? There's always going to be, like, a negative and a positive for, like, any criteria of, like, things that are created. You know, because if fucking shit's moving so fucking quickly. You know what I mean? I'm like... I figure, you know, Elon Musk said you're already part, you're already cyborg to the point where, like, it's true. Like, my phone's connected to me. I use it every second of the day. Like, making videos, 
doing food delivery. Watching YouTube videos, you know what I mean? It's just part of my everyday life. I don't watch regular TV, less of the family or something, you know. I was just like, you know, fuck. And it's crazy, you know. I was like, the more, you know, the more older I got, the more I appreciated nature, you know, nature and all that stuff. You see, like, the dark, like, the night skies with the stars and shit. Like, you go out to a place where there's a lot of stars, you kind of just look upon it. Maybe smoke a little joint, you know. And probably the Veniverse could probably just fucking show all that shit and make it fucking simulate all that fucking stuff, you know? I'm just like, I'm just like, you know, me personally, I don't really think I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna, I'm probably just gonna be enjoying reality for a while, you know? But kudos to the people that do use it, you know? Snoop Dogg's in the Metaverse. Someone pay like over four hundred hundred thousand to be Snoop Dogg's neighbor in the universe, you know what I'm saying? Like sorry people, smart people, I mean smart people, famous people already invested in this shit, you know. I just feel like we just gotta use it, you know, trying not to get addicted to the to the simulated reality, you know. Wanna like end up like Wally and shit, you know, kind of fucking all fucked up. It's like you fucking like that one Wally scene where the big dude fell over and like for the first time ever he didn't look at his screen. Like the for for the first time ever, this person plopped over. He's so fucking huge he can't get up. He fucking looks everywhere. He's like. You know what I mean? Because it's the first time in, like, who knows? Because he's just fucking been looking at that fucking screen 24 fucking 7. Instead of interacting with the world. He looks at the screen. The screen is the world now. Not the world. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm fucking high as a motherfucker, you know? And the big guy sees Wally, and he's like, Wally? And it scares him, and then, like, the rest of the robots come, and, like, they fucking get, like, a little bed to plop him up. They plop him over, and they plopped him back on the fucking, on his little seat, and he was back on, rolling back on the screen. Like, I really was like, damn, that was some crazy shit. It's like... What if you look at your, your screen for so long to the point you forget that there's a world out there with opportunity, people, people to get, people to know, cultures to learn about, languages to learn about. Food to eat. Trying new food, trying new, trying new activities, going up, like going on a triathlon or some shit, or like fucking real simple shit like bike riding or some shit, or like <clears throat> do some crazy shit like skydiving or whatever. You know what I mean? The list goes on and on and on. Like reality is pretty lit. Like it pretty is. Or you know, I smoke a joint. You know. It's like, there's so much things you can do and on the fucking planet. I haven't even named... That's like, few things that you can do. There's probably shit I probably haven't even named, like, you know? It's just amazing. It's amazing, you know? Maybe I'm just stoned, but... This has to just... Makes me appreciate, you know, it's just nice, nice, nice. It's nice to be on the grind, it's nice to be clean and smell good and all that bullshit, you know. 
Not bullshit, but you know, all that good stuff. You know, it's nice to get high all the time. Where it's just accessible, where you I can just go there, get some bomb ass weed and just or hit get the vape pen, you know, just to be more discreet. You know, if I'm ever out there in the forest, smoke a little joint out there, you know. You know, do what I normally do, you know. Whatever puts a smile on your face, you know what I mean? I figure, you know. Do you. You know what I mean? I'm smoking a hash joint, you know. But this has been a joint talk today. I figure I smoked this whole damn joint on camera, you know, and I did it. So, <laughs> this has been another episode, and I'm signing off.